Hi there, I'm Steve Knutson, Microsoft MVP for Office Services and Apps. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to take emails from, uh, attachments from an inbound email and send those attachments into a SharePoint docu document library using Power Automate. So I'm currently in the Power Automate home screen and from here I can choose create to create a new, um, a new flow. And what I'm going to do from here is, if you'll notice under the starting templates, there's an option here for emails. You can also search to find this one. So I'm just going to choose the email option here. And then from email, I'm going to choose the template option here for save my email attachments to a SharePoint document library. This will create our flow. So the first thing it does is goes and validates that I have permission to access everything I need to access. Uh, and I get some green ticks down here. Uh, and then I'm going to click continue. Once I've clicked continue, uh, it'll build a flow for me, um, and I can give this flow a name, so I can click into the title area here, give it a name, so I'll just call it something like um, uh, save inbound contract attachments. So I'll give it a name that means something to me, and then I'm going to click down to my flow and have a look at a few of the settings in here. So what we'll notice is that this flow has a trigger at the top here, which is on a new email with attachments and you can specify the folder that this attachment comes from so I'm just going to choose my inbox in this case um, and under advanced I can um, have some advanced settings such as um, who the recipients are or who it's sent from so it could be specific uh, inbound you may have a, um, an alias email address or it could be uh, from specific people that you're expecting to send the attachment and of course we've also got only process this when the email itself has attachments or the email subject line contains a particular string. So we're just going to leave those ones as is, but just uh, be aware that you can use some advanced settings here. We've then got a condition, which is to see whether the um, email um, needs to be processed. And under our condition here, we've got um, check the email address. If it is, we're going to save the attachments. So we'll specify the site. Now, I've got a SharePoint site that I'm going to use uh, in here, my uh, demo site. And then within that site, I'm going to choose the library. Uh, and my library that I've got in here is called Plain. Um, and then I'm also going to go down here and specify any other conditions. So that's all I need for this one. Um, and what it's going to do is it's going to send, send me an email um, if there's a problem. It's going to send an email through to say that they couldn't save the files. So we're just going to have a look at the other condition over here. So if um, uh, this top condition is no, then we might also specify the same library. Uh, so I'm just going to go into my demo library and also do a uh, choose the one called plane. And now I'm just going to save my flow. So this will save the flow. Um, and I'm just going to jump over here into SharePoint, have a wee lot. So this is my document library in my demo site, and it's just called plane. And Back over in here, of course, our flow has been saved, and I'm just going to go back on the. Um, I'm just going to save, make sure I did save it, uh, and then we're just going to go back here. Okay, um, and this will just give us our run history of this flow. You'll see that this flow has not run, and it's just been created now. Now let's give this a wee test. So I'm going to test that by running um, a test, sending a test email. So I've got an email message here which has got some attachments on it. So three attachments, test doc 2, test doc 5, and test doc 7. And I'm just going to send that to myself. So I'm just going to send. Now what that should do is that should trigger the flow. And in a moment, all things being equal, it'll trigger the flow and then save the attachments into my document library. Okay, so a couple of minutes have gone by since I sent that email, and the email's been received into Outlook. Um, and to exchange online um, and the, the flow has triggered so you'll see down the bottom down here now my flow has run successfully and it's um and what I'll do is I flick over to the SharePoint library you'll see that the attachments are now in this library now what you could do is you could modify this flow to create a folder for each domain that sends in or each sending email um, for instance so that you can file these under, under a client or under a particular matter of some sort you could always say use a thing from uh, say something from the subject line such as a um, the ID um, I've got a blog where I talk about using the SharePoint ID and how to encode that into the 
uh, into the um, email subject line for an outbound email so that when a person replies to that email with the attachments it knows which list item it was originally from and matches them up. You can also use uh, the OneDrive um, as an option. Microsoft gives you a template flow for OneDrive which allows you to just drop the emails into your OneDrive um, attachments into your OneDrive I should say. Um, that's useful for if you want to do, do something for your for yourself individually. Um, I prefer the SharePoint option because it's going to a SharePoint site that's accessible to a group so I don't need to worry about sharing out items and so on afterwards. I hope you've found this useful. Um, if you have please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm going to do some more videos I think around um, using Flow with SharePoint as it's something that comes up and is a topic of conversation quite frequently uh, and I think um, people enjoy uh, the opportunity to automate some of their um, regular processes. Um, this is a great way to do it. I um, hope you have a good rest of the day. Um, thanks very much.